insofar as I have that relationship, the object is reintegrated, it's brought back into society, but what? It's brought back into society as a symbol. It transforms things. It now affects you. It now does stuff. Despite the fact that it is inanimate, it activates, it it affects the world now. It does stuff. This art can do stuff. It used to just sit on a desk. It used to just lay in a cellar. It used to just be on a freight train. Now, it does stuff. The human being, this, this is no joke, right? The human being has infused some of the essence into the art piece into the objective world, so now that this art piece, as mere object, quote-unquote, affects stuff, it, this object does stuff now, it really is aesthetic, because my relationship with the object cannot be what it used to be. My relationship with my G.I. Joe action figures isn't a relationship with plastics and metal, isn't a relationship with ink on plastics and metal, my relationship with Cobra Commander, at Cobra, come here, man. Come on, they think they think it's a game right now. They think I'm, they, they, they don't really understand what's going on right now. My relationship with this dude right here, <clears throat> my relationship with this guy right here, Cobra Commander, the you know the general. <laughs> my relationship is not with a plastic piece. I can't possibly have a relationship with a plastic piece. That's ridiculous. Like this is Cobra, right? Cobra is a symbol. Cobra represents something. What he represents for me is something that I'm not going to share with the world, but... <laughs> Cobra, you're going to come. We're going to give... He was here before, but we're going to put Cobra here to mark the importance of what the hell is really happening right now. Because we're talking about... We're talking about without talking about the creation of a symbol. <laughs> You know, if, a quick side note, you know, if, um, um, nah, I'm not gonna put it out, I'm not gonna put it out there. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just sublime, it's absolutely beautiful. And later I'll talk about, um, much later, much, much later in the series, if I can remember, I'm gonna talk about that sublime awe, right, that, that, it doesn't have to get to the level of Alf Haybaum, but that, that just paralysis, that, that enjoyment, that indulgence into something so sublime and beautiful that you just, you just, you just can't move. <laughs> yeah, art can do that. Art. Art. Like paintings, and like music, <laughs> and like art. <laughs> it does that. <laughs> it can do that. It can do that. Reintegration of the object as symbol. The work occupies public or private space with mundane objects, as I said before, but what has happened now is that the object has been transformed. The artist has gone to the freight train and gotten permission from the conductor to take a few pounds of, of coal off the train, and he or she has brought it back to his or her artistic lab knowing that some of that coal is head for the fires in order to power a local city but insofar as it powers a local city it's going to produce toxins that will affect the city, effect the city negatively and the artist understands the relationship between the coal and the city and the smog and the necessity of the coal and the city of the smog and just the complex relationship between these parts and the, the artist transforms that coal that was destined for the furnace but will never make it and transforms that coal into something else. And when that coal is presented back to the community that consumes the coal for energy, knowing that insofar as it consumes the coal for energy, it in a sense jeopardizes to some extent the community itself, that artist presents the community with that, and the community is left to just marvel at the coal. <laughs> marvel at the coal. <laughs> I'm mad as batshit, as I said yesterday, right? 
Number five, the symbol as a thing in the world is more than the object itself. This is all me. The symbol as a thing in the world is more than the object itself. That should make sense. It becomes, it becomes more than its objectivity, right? It becomes what it already is. In the chain terms, for those of you who understand, this is sort of like the ERS, and I'm not going to discuss it anymore. As a symbol, the work of art brings together, this is Heidegger's term, as, and I would love to know what that is in German. I, it's, for those of you who speak German, and you're watching this part of the video, please, 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 tell me bringing together. What, what is, what's the vibe? First of all, what's the German? And I can Google translate this, but what's the German for bringing together, and what's the vibe of that? What, tell me, because I love, what, when he said bringing together, I was like, hmm, I like that. As a symbol, the work of art brings together the artist's, the artist's creative imagination, the objective world, and a public or private form to conceptualize the significance and meaning of the work. Alright, that's all me. The idea is that the artist creates the platform in which the transformation is possible of the mundane objective into the sublime aesthetic the transformation is a transformation also in relationship with the objective world. This is not a piece of plastic. This is Cobra Commander. It sounds really trivial, and I know it sounds stupid, but it's not a game at this level. This is not a piece of plastic. This is Cobra Commander. I like this lecture series. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting because so much of it is gonna be so out there. And I wanna leave it out there a little bit so that artists can play. Hopefully artists watch this stuff and use some of this stuff to motivate their work. That would be like awesome. I don't know that that will happen, but you know, I'm doing it for the academic community, but I'll you know, I'm doing it for artists as well. It's gonna be difficult because the series is gonna be several hours long and you know, people would be mad to watch it. <laughs> so don't watch this. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm teasing. Some, some of you watch this. Just very, a small, small number of you watch it. But not everybody else. The work is always informed by context. And I explained that, right? The, 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 the statue of David is contextually located in a significant place. The Eiffel Tower is an art installment conceptually, um, uh, geographically located in um, a specific place. You take it outside of its geographic location and put it somewhere else, it, the meaning is lost, in a sense, right? Now, just to end on a note, this is just an example, the concept, justice, as idea, as concept, as not the signifier trigger, but the signified, to be technical, for those of you who understand and have watched my semiotics lecture, and if you haven't watched my semiotics lecture, you should. The concept of justice as the signified is intimately related to the signifier, the word. But also the word is represented in this image. So that we recognize immediately that art also can and does, when it's doing its job properly, act as a signifier. It directs me to complex ideas. Art directs me to complex concepts. It refers to something greater than itself. It demands that I not look at the object in terms of a functional relationship with the object, but that I look at the object in terms of a in terms of an aesthetic relationship with the object. So last bit, that's deep. That's deep. I want you to think about that and the implications of that, because I'm not going to tell you. This visual representation directs art, manipulates art, affects. It directs the perceiver to the concept of justice. This is just a boring example. The color in this example are themselves insignificant, but they could be significant, right? If I wanted to have color 
be meaningful, then I would make it color. But you see the, the beams, the beams as a really poor sort of visual representation directs me towards the concept. Similarly, art, when it's done really, really well, functions as at least this level, the signifier, which points me to the signified, and that being very complex ideas. What those ideas are will vary, and that will complicate our analysis of aesthetics. But we'll have to talk about that another time. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell. Have a good day.